Tampa, Florida has been ruined. What? You're just ruining it. Well, not exactly. But if you read the comments on my YouTube channel or you listen to people on social media apps like TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, you could be led to believe that Florida as a whole, not only Tampa, has just been ruined by people moving here from other states. People just like me and my family. You'll hear people say things like, Florida's just not the same as it used to be, or don't New York my Florida. But the real question is, is that just fringe Floridians who are uncomfortable with change? Or has Tampa really been ruined by people from the outside? All right, so the reason that I wanted to do this video today is not to sensationalize everything, but I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, it just seems like the world is just more for and against everything at this point. You're either on one side or the other, and there just doesn't seem to be any moderate type of thinking that happens anywhere. But in today's video, I really wanted to share my experience since we've made the move here to Florida, which has been just a little over four and a half years. Um, some things that I've encountered that I don't necessarily love, and then if you're online looking around, you're gonna encounter of them too, but also talk about all the wonderful things that have happened to me and my family. And I think that can happen for you here as well, because there is a lot to love about Florida. But if you look online, you can absolutely find things that aren't great that you may not prefer, but that's just the way the world works. And the, one of the things that I've really come to terms with, you know, in becoming a, uh, what's the best way to put this, a uh, senior young person <laughs> is the fact that that doesn't really matter right? Like you can find anything. And, and I heard this quote one time and it just kind of slapped me upside the head because apparently I needed it. And, it. and it goes like this, wherever you go, there you are. And I was like, man, that kind of is offensive. And, um, and it was offensive because I needed to hear it. And, you know, there's this adage of like, if you go looking for, you know, good people, you'll find good people. If you go looking for trouble, you can find that anywhere too. And I don't think Florida is any different than anywhere else that I have either visited or lived in the United States. And, you know, today I want to talk about some of these things because, again, if you look in the comments of these videos, whether it's mine or anybody else, when you're considering making a move to a different area, you're going to find all kinds of pros and cons. And it's just like any other thing online. If you go to Amazon and look up your favorite product, I guarantee you there's going to be someone in there who is whining and complaining about the thing that you absolutely love. Now, could their experience have not been great? The answer to that is yes, but does it make the thing necessarily bad? The answer is no, but this is the way it works, right? I get to decide what works for me and my family. You get to decide what works for you and your family. So today, I just wanted to kind of tackle some of these things that you may or may not be seeing when you're searching online, you know, looking to move to different areas. And you can use this same skill set, you know, to look at, at other states, not just Florida here. But if you're considering making that move to Tampa or Tampa Bay, I thought this would be a great place to start. And if we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed real estate agent and a team leader here with the True Living group and we help people just like you buy sell relocate and invest here in the tampa bay areas we make videos that are all things tampa bay what it's like to live here what it's like to work here what it's like to play here the food the dining the outdoors the beaches and the sunshine so if you're into that sort of thing make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button that way these videos can be delivered directly to your home screen and you don't got to go chasing them down every week so the first thing i want to say is no one is actually from florida now that's hyperbole obviously but I gotta tell you, my experience here in Tampa Bay over the last four and a half years is typically when you ask people where they're from, they will give you another state, another city, another area. It is very few and far between that we actually come across native Floridians. Now, I realize that I live, you know, pretty near the coast and a lot of people have been moving here for generations, right? Florida is just so gorgeous. And you guys know if you visited Florida, whether it's the East Coast or the West Coast, hopefully you visited the Tampa Bay area and, and beaches like Clearwater Beach or St. Pete Beach. You know, we are known for this gorgeous weather, these white sandy beaches, over 1,300 miles of coastline here in Florida. And all that stuff's wonderful, but what I have come to to experience is that most people are not from here. It is very rare that I meet somebody new and they say, yep, born and raised here in, in Seminole, Florida, or born and raised here in Florida. It's not normal. Most people that I have encountered, and again, this is only one man's perspective, but this is my family's perspective.
perspective as well, most people are not from here. They've come from the Northeast, they've come from the West, they've come from the Midwest, they've come from Canada. They're coming from all over the world to either invest, buy a second home, or actually move to Florida because of the quality of life here. And what you'll find is most people are not from the area. So that's an interesting thing. And when when you hear people online, you know, talking about how, you know, don't New York my Florida or, you know, get out of here, like just know that that is a very small majority because what you're going to experience is most of the people that you surround yourself with are doing the exact same thing or came for the exact same reason that you have. And if that's what you're looking for, you're going to find it. And one of the things I've started calling a native Floridian here is the unicorn just because they're so rare. This is not something that I, that we run across every day. And listen, y'all, I meet a lot of people, right? This YouTube channel blesses us and, and brings so many people. We, I mean, I have phone call conversations and Zoom call conversations with people just like you from all over the United States and North America. Heck, I got people from Japan that we do Zoom calls with. And what we find is so many people come from different areas. That is what you're going to find. That is far more normal than running into somebody who is a native Floridian. And there is nothing negative about either one of those things. It's just understanding that when you move to areas like Tampa, Miami, Orlando, you know, you're going to run into people that are from other places mostly, not just Florida. And the second reason why I think that, you know, people make comments like that is they just are uncomfortable with change. And I got to be honest with y'all, I don't like change either right? I don't like changing my habits. I don't like changing my behaviors, even when they're not great. Maybe you can relate. Maybe you're that, you know, strange person who is all gung ho for changing a new habit. And I got to be honest with you. I like the idea of changing habits. I don't like change. I don't like it when things change. But typically the pain involved is, um, you know, sometimes unbearable and it forces me to go back to my normal behaviors. And I don't think I'm any different than anybody else just because I came from Michigan. Um, and they're most likely not any different from anybody else because they're from Florida, right? And, you know, people just don't necessarily love change. We are typically forced into change or, you know, there's some kind of really strong desire. Like if you've got a significant other, you were willing to change some things <laughs> to bring that person into your life. Well, at least you were if you wanted a sustainable relationship, right? Um, if you just wanted to be yourself, then typically those things don't last. But like, this isn't any different. You know, if you look where you live, you know, anytime a new proposal is brought to the table, there is always an argument for and against. And sometimes people can get really adamant uh, for one side or the other. But I think a majority of the people tend to live in the middle. Um, now, the irony is the people who live in the middle typically are the ones who aren't the loudest. The people who are the loudest are the people that are on the fringe. So this is something that, that I think we can all kind of inherently understand. Um, and I think it's probably pretty normal to you as well. You know, if you're considering making a move here, one of the biggest fears you have is that change. That's the thing that may be holding you back or that uncertainty is keeping you from taking action. So, you know, just like it is is um, uncomfortable for you to, to consider making a, a relocation, whether that's to Tampa, Florida, Florida, or any other anywhere else. It could be anywhere in the globe. Or where you live, having something change internally there. I think we can all understand that this is, um, it's normal to be apprehensive about change. And, you know, I think that that's part of the reason why people are concerned here as well. The third reason why I think people could be uncomfortable about this is because there is this live and let live mantra here in Florida. And it's a huge reason why me and my family decided to pack up and move here, but not the only reason, right? We were much more interested in the total lifestyle, right? Not some kind of political agenda or policy necessarily. Now, there were absolutely things that I did not love about where we moved from in Michigan, right? There, are, there were policies put in place that I did not agree with and I did not vote for, but it didn't make all the people around me bad, but I definitely was open to the idea of moving to a state where, you know, I kept more of my money. You know, Florida doesn't have a state income tax, which we absolutely love, um, that, that tended to lean towards different types of policies, right? And whether that's right or wrong for you, only you will know ultimately. But with that live and let live mentality, um, you know, you can definitely get anxious about, you know, people from other areas coming and making changes because if you've ever watched Team in History, you know <laughs> that we typically will move into a place, you know, um, you know, take over some of the natural resources and we're not always the kindest to either our environment or to people around us. And I can understand the apprehension, you know, this idea of keep Florida free, whether you agree with it or not is, how the entire state, you know, 
know, is perceived both nationally and abroad. And that can make some people uncomfortable. It can make other people excited. And it's really up to you to decide whether that's the right fit for you and your family. And again, the, today's goal is not to, to get on one side of the aisle. Um, and if you guys have watched my channel, you, you know that I just share, you know, I share my experience. I share what's going on. I share what I'm hearing. I share what's in my comments. And ultimately my goal with this channel is to empower you, right? To empower you to look at things, get curious, you know, is Tampa the right decision for you? Is Florida the right decision for you? These are all really large questions that you have to answer. Maybe you and your family. And you know, maybe some of these things make you uncomfortable. The question I always ask myself is, is the rub going to be worth the reward? And for some people it is, for other people it isn't. And these are things that you are definitely going to have to consider. You know, our experience has been overall that for the most part, people want to live here. They want to, you know, raise their families or, you know, go to work or grow their businesses and just be left alone for the most part. And I think y'all for the United States as a whole was built on that foundation. And whether you find that here in Florida or anywhere else, you may be in a place where you are absolutely thriving and that's wonderful. You know, like that should be the ultimate goal. And I think that when you come here, you're going to find a lot of that. You know, I don't run around and get people push, pushing their political agendas on me. And I just don't go hang out in those places. You know, if you want to go find those places, you can find them anywhere, right? But for me and my family, we don't go looking for that type of activity. We're looking to, you know, enjoy our active outdoor lifestyle. We're looking to uh, really take advantage of the, the world-class weather we have here. We are looking to take advantage of people who, uh, uh, who want to, you know, raise their families and, and have a wonderful experience and just really enjoy the quality of life. And I think that that's one of the most attractive, if not the most attractive thing about living here in Florida. So there are lots of reasons why people are anxious about this, but what I really want to get into are some of the benefits that have come by all of these people moving in from all over the place. And before we do that, if you are getting any value out of today's video, you know, please don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that like bell. Also, you know, hey, if you don't agree that's totally fine. Please feel free to put that in the comments. You guys always do anyways. <laughs> um, but if you know somebody who is considering making a move or relocating the area, do not hesitate to share this video with them. Also, all of my contact information is listed down below. Um, there's even a link to my calendar where you could jump in, talk to me and my team about relocating to the area here. We'd love to have that conversation with you. Now, with all that change also comes some really cool opportunity. And that's what I want to get into now because over 318,000 people left their home home states last year and decided to call Florida home in 2022. And as of right now, we are in April of 2023 and over a thousand people a day are still moving to the area. It's been unbelievable. And with that has come some tremendous opportunities. And I just want to talk about some of those specifically, you know, job opportunities. If we just look where we live here in the Tampa Bay area, unemployment currently is 2.6%, still very low. The national unemployment rate is 3.5% at the time of this. I mean, it if you guys are watching the news at all, you know the West Coast and Silicon Valley and tech jobs in particular are really you know, taking it hard. Uh, but here in Tampa, we're growing like crazy and we are still growing tech jobs. We're looking to put another 3,000 tech jobs over the next two to three years in Tampa Bay alone. Tampa is the unofficial tech hub of Florida. Over 25% of all the tech jobs are headquartered here in Tampa, which is awesome. I mean, we just continue to boom with opportunity. And it's fun to watch when you look around and you look at the United States and you know you see wow why are we experiencing all of this opportunity well it's because of all the people who are choosing to move to the Tampa area or move to Florida and call it home the other thing that comes with that is more diversity and this is something that I personally love you know my name's Juan Alcala at the end of the day y'all you know I know I'm not light-skinned you know my mom was English Irish and um, my dad is Mexican and you know I'm I'm proud of that and I have been been able to move to Florida and experience a lot of culture here. Like I didn't grow up around Cubans back home in Detroit, right? Southwest Detroit was, you know, primarily Mexican. Um, obviously Detroit as a whole had a ton of diversity. You know, we had engineers from all over the globe that would move to the area um, that worked for the automotive industry and people from all over the country moved to Detroit to work in the factories to build cars back in the 50s. So I grew up around a very diverse culture. And when we first moved to the Tampa Bay area, I can be honest with you, 
you, it wasn't the most diverse thing that I had ever experienced. But what I've witnessed over the last three to four years is with this growth of people coming from all over the United States, that has really started to change. And me and my family have been able to meet people, you know, Russian descent and uh, Ukrainian. I mean, we've met so many different types of people who are all moving here for the same thing a better quality life. And if that is what you were looking for, then ultimately you are going to find it. It's another reason why we love calling Tampa Bay and Florida our home. And the third reason on this list, and one of the primary reasons me and Kate decided to call Tampa home was that Tampa is an absolute value when it comes to housing. And y'all, I'm gonna share some stuff with you right now. You may be completely disagreeing with me, but I'm gonna show you the facts here in a second. Because right now, at the time of this recording, the median home price here in Tampa Bay is $380,000. And it's up 4% year over year in an economy and a market where housing values are going down. And if you look at the national average, which we're gonna show you right here too, um, it is currently $386,000 for the median home price. So Tampa is cheaper than the average home, which is unbelievable. And then when you stack it up versus coastal regions, it's just not even close. You know, places like uh, California or New York or even Chicago, you know, Boston, Massachusetts, there are hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, more to purchase a home than you do here in Tampa Bay. And when we moved down here, I was convinced that Tampa was a hidden gem and that they were undervalued. And over the last few years, that obviously, that secret got out and, and prices have gone up. And this is another reason why people have just been, you know, so concerned because if you lived in Florida and you were buying really cheap real estate, you could afford to purchase those homes on incomes that weren't great. And that is one of the arguments when you move to Florida, y'all. And look at your own industry when you move here, um, because I think that some of these industries that people are used to getting paid extremely well in when they live other places, they come to Florida and they don't pay the same. That's real, but I would encourage you to go check that out. There are definitely websites that can talk about incomes. I don't speak specifically to incomes, but I could see why that could be a challenge. You know, if you were living here making $50,000 a year and the median home price was two hundred. Eighty thousand, which it was, you know, four years ago. Um, you know, it was very easy, you know, to live here. And what has happened is because people in Boston or uh, Chicago or California are selling their homes for eight hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars, and selling those homes and moving here and being able to buy them with just the proceeds, it has driven, you know, um, housing prices and housing values up, which has come with higher taxes and just an overall higher cost of living. So I understand that. And if you, you know, you were living um, in a place that had experienced such tremendous growth, you would be experiencing the same things. And we've all had inflation hit us over the last few years really hard. So, you know, it, I don't think anyone is immune to this. And I understand that wholeheartedly, but that's part of the pushback. Um, but when you look at it, we are still a deal. Y'all, we we cost less to buy a home here in, the, in, in Tampa than it does anywhere in the United States on average. That is a really cool, fun fact. And it is another reason why people continue to move to this area. And hey, if you do have any questions, about anything we discussed today, especially real estate, or if you're considering buying, relocating, or investing here in the Tampa Bay area, do not hesitate to reach out to my team. Like I said, all of our contact information is listed down below. I'd be more than happy to jump on a Zoom call, talk about you know how to make this relocation a reality for you. If you got any specific questions, you know, call, text, email, DM on Instagram, heck, however you got to get hold of us, just know we're here to work for you. I'm gonna leave a couple videos right here that I think that will also help you make that decision. And until next time, go out and live the Tampa life.